Uh, today we're going to work with this data set. This data set is pretty sweet one. You can find it in the link of the video. I have two supplementary pills, two, two iron dietary supplement pills. I have the iron supplement F and I have the iron supplement V. The iron mass that I found in, in just dietary pills were showing here. I have determined the iron in, in this dietary pills using four independent colorimetric assays. I have used the salicylate assay, the tucianide assay, gallic acid assay, and the Prussian blue assay. The first thing that I want to, to, to say is if it is possible, uh, uh, I, have, I have obtained the same results using the four assays. I want to say uh, using this four assays, I obtained the same results. How can I compare uh, this four, this four colorimetric assays? I want to compare the uh, iron mass obtained with the salicylate assay, tucianide assay, gallic acid assay, and the Prussian blue assay. How I can do it? Well, I can do it using the 108 ANOVA. And once that the new hypothesis is rejected, uh, for example, the ANOVA says to me that these four assays were not equivalent. I want to say uh, uh, how they were not equivalent. Uh, the gallic acid assay uh, provide results equivalent to two cyanide aside and different from the Prussian blue. Uh, how I can say that? How I can evaluate this? You can evaluate uh, individual difference between groups using a post hoc test. There was several post hoc tests, the Tokay test, the Bonferroni test, the CDAC test, but uh, we are going to use just the 2K test in using R commander. Well, I, the first thing that I have to do is import my data set to the commander. How I can do that? I'm going to commander. I'm going to data. I'm going to import data from Excel file. Uh, as, I, as I have been saying, uh, most of the people have your data set in Spread Suites like Microsoft Excel. The, it is amazing that commander import data directly from your Microsoft Excel files. We're going to import this data set from Commander. Uh, I'm going to just, so, just uh, show it again. You go to data, import, and from Microsoft Excel file. You are going here. OK. Yes. And I am going to import my Spread Suite to Commander. I'm just going to open my my computer is in Portuguese and it is abrir, but uh, you are going to see in your computer open. Okay, now my data set was imported to Commander. Now I am going to do a uh, one away ANOVA for this dietary iron supplement, the supplement F. I am going to, to Commander. I'm going to statistics, mens, and then I'm going to one away and over. I will do, I will compare the results provided by the four size for the iron supplement F. I am going to mark pairwise and the Welsh F test. I'm going to apply and voila. I just run it again. Let me have it in here. In here, I have the one away and off. I have obtained a p value lower than 0 0.05, and they can reject the new hypothesis. What this means? It means that the four size do not provide equivalent results. Equivalence and no equivalence between the size I can see quite in here. 
well, I, here I have my 2K contrast tests. The 2K contrast tests say to me that the Prussian blue SI and the gallic acid SI were not equivalent. But uh, it shows to me that the Chusinid SI and the gallic acid SI provide quite similar results. Uh, these results were illustrated uh, in the family-wise confidence level plot that was provided by Commander. I can see that a size that are equivalent are going to be under the dashed line, where uh, a size that were not equivalent will be out of the dashed line. So the results summarized by the 2K test by v might be visualized using the family-wise confidence level. Uh, some people like plots. Uh, myself, I love to do plots because the plots give you a visual. Uh, you can visualize equivalence and non-equivalence between the SIs using plots. I like very much of box plots. Box plots are very useful to visualize your data sets. Uh, I'm going to click in here because I want to see the idle masses determined using the four size. I'm going to plot by group by separate my box plots by group. And then we're going to apply. OK? And my box plots are provided in here. The box plots uh, shows in this black line the, the mean values. Uh, and the, it shows to me the interquartile hinge and the outlier samples where it also showing here. I can observe that the gallic acid SI and salicylate SI have a lower interquartile hinge than uh, Prussian blue SI and Chusianid SI. I can also say that these two SIs, gallic acid and salicylate SI, provide uh, quite similar results. Uh, the two cyanide SI have a large interquartile hinge, so it was closed from the salicylate SI and the gallic acid SI. I can see also that the Prussian blue SI provided provide, right, uh, higher iron mass than the other three SIs. Now I can do the same thing for uh, now, I can do the same thing for uh, the another iron supplement. I am going to do this for the iron supplement uh, V in F now. Uh, I did it for this iron supplement, and I'm going to do. I did it for this iron supplement. I'm going to do for this iron supplement now. Oh, sorry, I did for the second iron supplement. I'm going to do it now for the first one. I'm going to my data sets. I'm going to statistics, mens, one away ANOVA, and I'm going to select the, 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 the first iron supplement, that is supplement E, F. I'm going to go to OK, and I have my results in here. My new hypothesis was rejected by one or way another. Equivalences and no equivalences between a size were provided in here. It was provided in here. Uh, now, I, in here, I have in my post hoc test, that is the 2K test. I can see that uh, once again, the Prussian blue and the gallic acid aside providing the different results. Uh, and they can see once again that the gallic acid and chusianide side provide no equivalent results. And I can do a box plot too. I'm going to graphics, box plots. Uh, I'm going to this to the item mass for the dietary supplement F. 
I'm going to plot by SI, OK, and apply. And I have my box plots, and they can find uh, outlier samples and can observe that once again, the gallic acid SI and salicylate SI provided a lower interquartile range than the Prussian blue and Tiocyanide SI. It is a manner that you can compare uh, the size. I have I, I have done uh, I have done I have done uh, one away and over for the iron supplement F and for iron supplement V. I have done this. Uh, I I observed that the the assays do not provide equivalent results for both iron supplements. But I cannot visualize differences between these two assays. I, I cannot visualize if it was an interaction between samples and the size. I am going to do a two away ANOVA to observe it, if it was an, inter an interaction between samples and the size. For this, I have to reorganize this data set. It was reorganized in the split suite number five when I have uh, when I have my samples. Uh, I have I have it placed at the uh, sorry, it is in, in split suite four. In split suite four, I have just the sample V and sample F. And I have the assize in here. Now I have two group variables, that is sample and assize. And my quantitative variable, my, my, my factor response, my quantitative variable is the iron mass in here. So I am going to do a two away ANOVA to observe if it was any kind of interaction. I am going to load this split suite four. I'm going to command data, import data from Microsoft Excel file. OK, yes. I'm going to split suite four. I'm going to open, and it is loaded now. And now I can do my two away ANOVA. I select my, my factor variables that you ask, assign and samples. And my response variable that was iron mass found in these two iron dietary pills. I'm going to apply. OK. The two away ANOVA said to me what I already observed using an away ANOVA that is a different that is difference, difference between a size. The four size do not provide equivalent results. And they can see also that samples do not have the same iron mass. But in here, I can observe the interaction between a size and samples. And I can see that there is no interaction between a size and the samples. Well, uh, I can visualize the difference between differences between iron mass, iron mass is found in dietary supplement F and V doing a box plot. I can do two graphics, uh, box plots. Uh, I am going to show the iron mass and I will plot by sample. I'm going to here, okay, okay. And they can see my box plots. Here I have the iron mass for supplement F and the iron mass for, for the iron dietary supplement V. Uh, I can see that the supplement F has more iron than the supplement V. It is well illustrated using box plots. Uh, in this video, I want to show you that you can compare uh, you can compare looking to split suite one. You can compare four different uh, uh, group variables, that is their size, in two different samples using one away and another. But they can observe interactions between samples and the size using two away and another. Uh, 
difference found in one way or another when when you are analyzing the 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 four groups might be observed also using post hoc tests where I have used the Tokay test. Well, that is this. Uh, many thanks for your attention and until your next video about statistics analysis. Many thanks for everyone that was watching this video.